वेलकम तो दिस लेक्चर इज कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ द प्रीवियस लेक्चर एज वी हैव इंट्रोड्यूस द कॉन्सेप्ट्स ऑफ न्यूटन्स लॉज एंड द वेलोसिटी एंड एक्सेलरेशन इन डिफरेंट कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम सो हियर वी आर टुडेज लेक्चर इज बेसिकली अबाउट टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन न्यूटन्स लॉज सो वी विल डायरेक्टली गो टू सम प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन न्यूटन्स लॉज सो टुडे इज द प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट इज सपोज देर इज अ particle of mass m and it is a it's it is constrained under the motion in gravity and consider this is as ground and we have last time we have discussed the particle of motion in a drag force so again we are constructing this that there is a particle whose initial velocity is zero and it is at height h or let us call it a small h from the ground okay so this is a basic question where the particle is at so the particle at height h now the question is framed in such a way that there is a drag force there is a drag force in the medium and this drag force is equal to minus some constant let us suppose k that is v square that the drag force is proportional to instantaneous velocity square so hope might the question and the motion is under gravity and the gravity is acting in this way so the question is that there is a particle of or a, suppose a ball or something that have mass m at initial velocity u is equal to 0 at height h from the ground and it is motion is under the gravity and there is a drag force that acts see this negative sign is just to represent that drag force is opposite to the velocity that it's uh, restricts the motion of the particle so what the information you have given first is that initial velocity is zero initial velocity u is equal to zero at height h is equal to at height h okay second one motion is under gravity this is motion under gravity and third point is there is a drag force and drag force is magnitude is given by k v square that is proportional to velocity square now what we have to find is find kinetic energy when it hits the ground when it hits the ground hits the ground see the question is very simple that to find out the kinetic energy of the ball when it hits the ground so there is uh, the problem is only thing that there is a drag force given so due to this drag force there is a continuously decrease in energy of the particle so if you an apply the energy conservation laws here it will not work because there is a dissipative energy so how to solve this problem this problem can be solved basically by newton's laws and we have solved this problem earlier also so you might uh, you must have you must think about this problem and what is the problem and then you should apply uh, try at your own and if you don't get the answer or to match the answer then only then you can see the video so here i'm going to solve it so this is a free, uh, let's uh, first of all we will draw the free body diagram so free body diagram of the system so at any instant of time the particle may be at somewhere in the middle so its mass is m and its gravitational force mg is in downward direction so if the particle is moving in this direction downward direction then the drag force will will be acting upon the uh, means uh, uh, backward to the direction of the motion of the particle so the acceler net acceleration is in this way so according to newton's law let us write the equation of motion according to newton's law net force f net Is it is equal to mass time acceleration and the net force and I am taking this direction as positive direction so this will be mg minus fr so the acceleration of the particle is given by g minus fr by m 
so now we have the acceleration of the particle let's puts the value of uh, fr so now we got acceleration is equal to g minus fr by b so here the acceleration is equal to g minus k sorry uh, this is m kv square by m now see at initial point the velocity was zero so when when the particle will go decreasing its height got decreases and the velocity will increase so here velocity will increase so if the velocity will increase from it will increase from zero to some value v so g is constant m is constant k is some constant but the velocity is not constant so here also acceleration is not a constant quantity so you cannot use the equation of motion from here we can conclude that equation of motion that was the three equation of motion when a is equal to constant that cannot be used here so now we are going to use the differential forms of acceleration that is dv by dt or d v dv by so the acceleration was given by a is equal to dv by dt or v dv by dx that we have seen in the previous lecture so here we have to find that the velocity as a function of position that this h varies from uh, 0 to h so we will find out we will use this equation v dv by ux if you remember in the previous lecture in the problem we have used dv by dt because there we will we were trying to find out the, velo uh, the velocity as a function of time here we will find the velocity as a function of acceleration so let's just substitute the value so it equation was a is equal to g minus kv square by m so this is v dv by dx is equal to g minus kv square by m so this can be simplified to this is see this equation can be written as v dv divided by g minus kv square by m is equal to dx so now we just have to substitute the value of this denominator g minus kv square by m by something and we will get the integration so let us suppose this g minus kv square by m is equal to some value let's say r so let us differentiate this so this is minus 2 kv dv by m is equal to dr so from here we can find out the value of v dv is equal to minus m by 2k dr so we got this value okay so let us substitute here and solve this equation so this will be equal to v dv substituted minus m by 2k this is 1 by r dr is equal to dx so now integrate both the sides integrate both the sides so we will get minus m by 2k as a constant this is integration 1 by r dr is equal to integration dx so i am writing this integration in the next in the next uh, format so that we can integrate it easily so this will become minus m by 2k this is ln of r this is x see now we have to put the limits and you know that r was g minus kv square by m so let us substitute in the next part and put its limit so minus m by 2k this is ln of uh, let me substitute the value of r so it was g minus kv square by m and this is equal to x so at x is equal to 0 at x is equal to 0 the velocity u was 0 at x is equal to h we have to find the velocity as vf let the velocity at after traveling the distance h is vf so this problem can be seen that this we suppose that x is equal to 0 here u is equal to 0 if x is equal to h v is something that is v final which we have to find out this final velocity so from here after substitution you will get minus m by 2k this is ln 
g minus k vf square by m and for this divide by g and this is a let me put a more bracket here is equal to h minus 0 so this is our the whole expression so let us rearrange the terms and get the final expression for the velocity so it will be is equal to uh, minus m by so this will be equal to ln g minus k v f square by m divided by g is equal to minus 2 k h by m this equation implies that this is equal to g minus k v f square by m divided by g is equal to e raised to power minus 2 k h by m so from here you will conclude that v final square v f square is equal to m g by k m g by k this will be 1 minus e raised to power minus 2 h k by m so this will be your final velocity you just rearrange the terms and you will get this expression that v final is equal to mg by k 1 minus e raised to power minus 2 hk by m. So now we get the final velocity of the particle that when it hits the final velocity will be this. So let us write the kinetic energy. So from here the kinetic energy Kinetic energy of the particle is given by half m mass times velocity square. So this is equal to half. This is mg mm will m square g by k 1 minus e raised to power minus 2 h k by m. So this is the expression of the kinetic energy of the particle. So if you have got it, you check the answer. So this was one of the problem in which the drag force was considered and we have to find the final velocity of the particle or kinetic energy of the particle. So this was the way where you write the Newton's equation, Newton's equation of Newton's laws and just substitute that acceleration in terms of dv by dt or v dv, dv by dx as convenient to yourself like if the problem is asked with time or position and you can find the velocity.